So coming to Andrew Peak, Andrew Peak just has one active ingredient, which is clinically proven. And the other manufacturers may have just one ingredient that's clinically proven and they throw in the rest for effect. And on the face of it, this particular label with so many ingredients looks so much superior in formulation to the one that has got only one or two. So I would like you to guide the consumer in making the right choice. And on what terms should he make that right choice? So for me, and this is, this is, a, this is a personal fact, this doesn't necessarily have just to do with the science, but the science has helped formulate my opinions over the years, and that is um, uh, most supplements, most ingredients in supplements don't have a positive effect from the research standpoint. So um, uh, every five years or so, we put together a, a, a compilation of a supplement review that we publish in the Journal of the International Society of Sport and Nutrition. Uh, that is a is a, uh, a look at the available literature on different products and what you'll find is overwhelmingly the majority of the products on the market don't have enough evidence to support their actual use and so what's typical for companies to do is is to we call them kitchen sink supplements they throw in um, dozens of ingredients um, that have purported effects um, I've always leaned towards and had preference towards and supported supplements and supported products um, that that um, only limit or, or not only limit but limit their ingredients in their product to those that have clinical evidence that they work uh, and so um, many times uh, the these supplements that have two dozen products half of which you can't pronounce their names um, doesn't mean that they're more effective it doesn't mean that they're a better supplement uh, in fact, I, I encourage my athletes, I encourage my students to stick with the supplements that have ingredients that we know are beneficial uh, and not just ones that throw everything in there. Typically in these, in these products, there may be a supplement that works. Um, you know, when we talk about pre-workouts, people ask me, they say, is this pre-workout effective? And I'll say, well, does it have caffeine, beta alanine, and creatine in it? And if the answer is yes, it works. Everything else is just... Uh, just something thrown in. Um, if it has all that other stuff and it doesn't have those three, then it's not likely going to be as beneficial. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's um, uh, rarely when you see a, a label full of ingredients do you have a bunch of ingredients that actually work. There's usually typically one or two that do.